Why are successful people waking up at 4 a.m. and not at a different hour? What is the secret behind it? Well, they know how their brain works and they take advantage of their brain wave states and their brain chemistry. The brain produces electrical patterns often referred to as waves. When you are first awake, your brain operates at around 10 and a half waves per second. The range from 8 to 13 hertz or cycles per second is the alpha stage. It's been called the gateway to the subconscious mind. But when you wake up this early, you are between theta and alpha. The mind is capable of deep and profound learning, being fully aware and focused with an effortlessly calm mind. In other words, you don't have to work as hard. You are not thinking, you just relax into the moment. Another important fact known by all successful people is when you wake up, your subconscious mind is most impressionable and soaks up information like a sponge. Whatever you hear, see or are exposed to in the first 20 minutes will affect you and set the tone for the rest of your day. This is why they meditate, listen to affirmations and not checking their social media and email so early. They choose consciously their tone of the day, being focused and positive and not being distracted. They choose to go to bed early and use the premature hours of each day at their own advantage. They make up a routine of waking up before the sun starts to shine and go to sleep after the sun goes down. Why do they go to bed so early between 10 pm and 2 am is where you can get the most from regenerative and deep sleep. After 2 am, sleep lacks the quality that you need as it becomes more superficial, chronically depriving your body of the regenerative sleep which you can enjoy between 10 pm and 2 am makes you wake up in the morning even more tired than when you went to bed. The human body is closely linked to the day and night cycle. This is why within 1 or 2 hours after sunset, your melatonin levels start to rise. This is how your body is telling you that it's time to go to bed. At midnight, melatonin levels reach their highest value and after this, they start decreasing gradually. 10 pm is when your body reacts as a result of the increment in your melatonin levels. This period of transformation in your sleep cycle brings along a more intense metabolic activity. This one is responsible for the repair and restoration of your whole body. In order for this 10 pm reaction to take place, your body needs to slow down, which translates into reduction of your mental and physical activity. If you are still awake, there is a phenomena that takes place at this hour called the second wind. This is caused by the rise in mental activity and energy that your system has at 10 pm. Nevertheless, you can only feel what the second wave's value is truly about if you are asleep at 10 pm. Studies show that if you go past the 10 pm bedtime, you'll find it more difficult to fall asleep. Also, you won't be able to enjoy a refreshing sleep, which will lead to significant weariness in the morning. Small things matter, so even the simple shift in your bedtime hour from 11 pm to 10 pm can make a huge difference regarding the quality of your sleep. Moreover, there are high chances that you will wake up in the morning feeling energized and ready to start the day. This happens because you allow your system to go through its natural neurochemistry and you take advantage of this wave that is on its way before 10 pm. Moreover, your body also benefits from the metabolic changes that naturally take place as the clock ticks 10 pm. If you are among those that usually fall asleep well past 10 pm, you should consider changing the situation. Set up a goal to go to bed earlier by 15 to 30 minutes each week until you hit 10 pm bedtime goal. Early risers like Apple CEO Tim Cook, Oprah Winfrey and Dwayne Johnson choose to greet the day at the crack of dawn because that's where motivation is created and they don't need to ask for it. That silence of early morning hours is what helps them use their potential to the maximum. Successful people choose to use every minute available in a day because their life's purpose is higher than any short-term pleasure or comfortable bed mattress. They instilled this habit of waking up early in the DNA because they understand how a strong and consistent routine can support a successful life. The human brain can work at its maximum potential when it doesn't have to multitask. The quality level of work is highly dependent on the level of focus. When there are no distractions and noises to disturb concentration, the brain has a great capacity to focus on certain tasks and thus generate a balanced rate between quality and work. Successful people are aware of this and they use their alone time in the early morning to take full advantage of their brain function and capacity. High achievers understand that premature hours of the day allow them to make better decisions as their energy levels are at the peak. 
those who live a grand life understand that early morning willpower helps them to achieve high levels of discipline. A disciplined morning guides them towards a whole day of discipline and this is exactly what supports their successful life. The peaceful and quiet time you get before the sun rises creates the environment you need in order to take care of yourself, which doesn't happen too often during the day. It's the mean time that allows you to provide yourself with everything you need in order to successfully go through the day. As soon as the alarm goes off, you're facing a bump in the road and it's up to you to get over it or not. It's up to you to decide whether you use your time in your advantage or not. When everybody else is still dreaming and sleeping in their comfortable beds, it's your time to shine. It's your time to get out of your comfortable zone and have that well-deserved breakthrough. The early morning hours are moments where you can be ahead of things without being distracted. It's a time where you can focus and pay attention to what really matters. It's a time you can go past those old and narrow-minded thoughts that stopped you from getting the real taste of what this life can truly be. It's all on you and you decide how to spend your life. You decide when your day starts.